Uh, G'day students. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is just introduce you to how to solve uh, uh, simple percent problems. And then in the next video, we'll actually go ahead and do some worked examples. And the method that I like to use um, is called the percent triangle. So we'll show you what, what that actually means. Okay, now one nice thing about solving percent problems is um, you only really need to know one formula, which is the part equals the percent times the whole. Now this is actually a little bit simplified. That's a short version of the formula where the percent has to be written as a decimal. So if we're using this formula to solve percent problems and the percent is 20%, then we need to actually substitute 0 0.2 in place of 20%. Uh, we could use the full formula, which I call the other percent equation, where you can put the 20 in there over 100, which gives you the, uh, the decimal equivalent 0 0.2. But overall, I find it much easier to use this form of the equation. And I just have to remember that this is percent as a decimal. So here's our basic formula, part equals percent times whole. So for example, $18 is the part. The percent is 30%. And the whole amount in this case is $60. And we just have to multiply 0 0.3 times 60 to work out the part. So one of the types of equations you can solve with the formula is finding the part. You can also use it to find a missing percent. So $30 is what percent of $60? And a third type of question you can solve is finding the whole. So in this case, $50 is 25% of what whole amount? And it turns out that all of these uh, problems can be solved by using the formulas that are built into what's called the percent triangle. So looking at the triangle, there's the part, and that equals the percent as a decimal multiplied by the whole amount, or sometimes we say by the original amount. So that's our first formula. Now, if we're trying to find the percent, it turns out we can use the same formula, but we have to rewrite it. So I'll start by writing part equals percent times whole. Now, in this problem, I'm trying to find the percent. So if you remember how we solve equations, to get the percent, at the moment it is multiplied by the whole. The opposite of multiplying by the whole is dividing by the whole, because multiplying and dividing cancel each other out. The whole crosses out. And there's my formula for percent. So the percent equals part divided by whole. Now let's have a look at the percent triangle. I'm trying to find the percent. There's the part. There's the divided by. And there's the whole. So you can look at the percent triangle and there's your formula. Percent equals part divide whole. What if you're trying to find the whole? Well, again, I'm going to start with the formula that we do know. Part equals percent times whole. This time I'm trying to make whole the subject. So I've got to um, undo multiplying by the percent. The opposite of multiplying by percent is dividing by percent. The percents cancel out. And the whole is left by itself, which I'll write on the left. And that's equal to the part divided by the percent. Looking at the percent triangle, I'm trying to find the whole amount. And it shows me that that's equal to the part divided by the percent. So the triangle basically shows you the three formulas. So to summarize, in order to find the part in a percent question, multiply percent times whole. 
which is shown there in the triangle, to find the percent, to find the percent, you go part divided by whole, and to find the whole, you go part divided by percent. Okay, what we're going to do then is we'll finish this video there. That's just a quick introduction. And in the next video, we'll actually use these three formulas to solve some um, equations involving percentage.